Hello everyone, and welcome to today's video. Role-playing games have been a key part of the gaming scene for over 30 years now. Every month, we see a mix of exciting new titles, from big-name releases like Starfield, Lies of P, Hogwarts Legacy, Octopath Traveler 2, and Wo Long, Fallen Dynasty to smaller gems like Labyrinth of Galleria, The Moon Society, 8-Bit Adventures 2, and Little Witch Nobetta. There's always something fresh in the RPG world just around the corner. Because of the ambitious nature of AAA RPGs, they often get announced way ahead of their release dates, which can lead to sky-high expectations. Once the excitement builds, it can be tough to rein it in, and that's led to some letdowns in the past. But when a game truly delivers, it's a sight to behold. So, which upcoming RPGs are everyone buzzing about? Before starting, consider supporting us by giving a like and subscribing to the channel if you see something interesting or have other titles to suggest. Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching and now let's start with the list. Vampire. The Masquerade. Bloodlines 2. Available on PC, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, and Xbox Series S, Vampire the Masquerade. Bloodlines is a true cult classic. Despite its rough edges, this RPG shines with incredible writing and memorable characters, offering a ton of customization that allows players to express their creativity. For a long time, it seemed like this gem would remain a standalone title in the gaming world, but in 2019, Bloodlines 2 was announced, sparking excitement. Since then, the game has faced several delays, and updates about its development have been a bit all over the place. However, there have been a few spin-offs from the Vampire the Masquerade universe in recent years, keeping the franchise alive and kicking. Set in Seattle, Bloodlines 2 will allow players to craft their own newly turned vampire, choosing their human background and preferred abilities. The original game's success can be attributed in part to its intricate clan system, which lets players align with one of the vampire factions in the city, and this feature is expected to return in the sequel. As for gameplay, it looks like Bloodlines 2 will maintain the first-person action and strong dialogue focus that fans loved in the first game. It's you. The no man. Willem, I take it. You had some interesting guests outside. Expecting trouble? That depends. Why, why, why are you here? Polly tells me you keep the court's secrets and its histories. Earlier tonight, another kindred by the name of Isabella used this mark to sap my power. Do you know anything about it? No, 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 no. All I had to do was keep my head down for just a few more nights. He's hiding something. Black Myth Wukong Black Myth Wukong is generating quite a buzz, and it's easy to see why. After a couple of years of anticipation, the excitement really ramped up in August 2023 when some gaming outlets got a chance to dive into the gameplay, revealing that there's a lot more beneath the surface than just impressive trailers. While those previews only scratch the surface of what the final game will deliver, they showcased a combat system that cleverly mixes melee attacks, magic, and stance changes. The use of a staff fits perfectly with the game's roots in the classic Journey to the West story, which also influenced Dragon Ball. With its stunning visuals and fast-paced, intricate action, Black Myth has the potential to be one of the standout titles of 2024, offering a fresh spin on the Souls-like genre by blending challenging boss battles and impactful combat into something both familiar and innovative. Throne in Liberty Throne in Liberty is an MMORPG that's been on quite the roller coaster ride, but it's finally gearing up for its North American launch on September 17, 2024. There were moments when it looked like NCSoft's game might never make it to Western audiences, but thankfully, that's not the case. Despite some bumps in development, the game has been generating buzz thanks to a few successful previews and beta tests. While it's still uncertain if this excitement will translate into a solid player base, 
it's definitely not going to flop right out of the gate. Overall, Throne and Liberty appears to be a pretty standard open-world MMO focused on multiplayer, teamwork, and dungeons, but it does have a cool twist. Players can transform into animals like birds, which should make traveling around the game world a lot more fun and will also play a role in combat and exploration. Play enemies to defeat. Shapeshift into legendary creatures to carry you through the air and over the waves. Push back against the Legion in tactical combat across a seamless world. Take up arms and join others as you fight alongside fellow guild members. Wise 10 Nordics. Wiz 10 Nordics is an action JRPG that's set to hit PS4, PS5, and Switch on October 25th, 2024. Although it launched in Asia on September 28th, 2023, fans are still waiting for the English version's release date to be announced. While Wise 9 received a bit of a mixed bag in terms of reviews, the series has been riding a wave of popularity since Wise 8, which really brought it into the spotlight for a broader audience. Early reviews of the Japanese version suggest that Wise 10 might split opinions among fans, especially since it moves away from the traditional party system to a dual protagonist format. This new combo system could be seen as overpowered, making individual skills feel less significant. Plus, the ship-based exploration and combat might not be everyone's cup of tea. Nevertheless, Falcom has a knack for creating engaging action, so even if Wiz 10 doesn't reach the heights of the franchise's best, it's likely to still be a fun ride. Grow strong. Seek me. Let's go, shield brother! I'm on it! I'm glad it was you who happened upon me, Lichelle. My greatest treasure. Torcha! Dragon Age, the Veilguard is on the horizon, and fans are buzzing with excitement. Set to launch on October 31st, 2024, this action-packed title will be available on PC, PlayStation 5, and Xbox Series XS. It's been over 10 years since the last installment, and while the previous sequels had their ups and downs, the franchise remains a heavyweight in the RPG world. The anticipation is palpable, and expectations are sky-high for this new chapter. After years of development, which hasn't always been a walk in the park, BioWare has finally confirmed the Veilguard's release. Despite the rocky road, there's still hope that this game will deliver the magic fans are craving, making its eventual release a major event in the gaming community. You want allies to go after the gods? I've got places to look. Where do we start? I'll be damned. A griffin. In war, victory. I'm ready. I've never seen this before. There's something kind of exciting about it. the fade, draw close! Draw the dragon out into the open, then attack. You and me, Rook. Maybe that's what scares me. These are the times in which legends are born. Farmagia. Farmagia, developed by Marvelous is poised to deliver an engaging mix of gameplay mechanics and genres, presenting a monster-collecting RPG that offers a refreshing perspective on a somewhat overused theme. Set against the backdrop of Felsidad, players embark on a grand adventure to assemble a formidable army of monsters in response to the emergence of a new overlord. A key feature of Farmagia is its unique approach to army building, where players can cultivate seeds to generate battle buddy units for use in combat. In addition to nurturing these monsters, players will also utilize ranches for their training. The battle system in this JRPG appears to be intriguing, merging real-time action with strategic decision-making. Notably, 
human characters do not engage in direct combat. Instead, they issue commands to their armies, allowing for a tactical governance of their actions during battles, a system that likely requires hands-on experience to fully appreciate. Pillars of society. You will plow your field, sow your seeds, water your crops, and harvest new buddies to join your adventure. Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D Remake Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D Remake is set to bring a stunning new look to a beloved classic. This remake will be available on multiple platforms including PC, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, and Xbox Series S, with a release date slated for November 14, 2024. Developed by Square Enix and Artdink, this version takes inspiration from the visual style of Octopath Traveler, giving the game a fresh yet familiar aesthetic that honors the original's charm, while ensuring it stands out among modern JRPGs. Dragon Quest III is celebrated as a landmark title that laid down many of the series' defining elements, and even though gaming has evolved over the years, the core gameplay, storytelling, and world-building of Dragon Quest remain intact. This remake aims to make DQ3 more accessible than ever for both new players and longtime fans. Forge your own path. The legacy begins. Assassin's Creed Shadows. Assassin's Creed Shadows is shaping up to be an exciting addition to the franchise blending stealth and action in a role-playing game format. Set to launch on November 15, 2024, this title will be available on platforms like PS5, PC, Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, and Amazon Luna, developed by Ubisoft Quebec. While some fans weren't thrilled with the series' shift towards more RPG elements since Origins, Shadows seems to embrace this evolution, as hinted by game director Charles Benoit in a recent Xbox interview. The game takes place in feudal Japan and features two main characters, a shinobi named Naue and a samurai named Yasuke. Players will have the ability to switch between these two characters during gameplay, each equipped with their own distinct skills, weapons, and combat styles. The anticipation surrounding Shadows is palpable, especially since fans have longed for a Japan-centric storyline, and the dual protagonist approach adds an intriguing twist, particularly with Naoi's focus on stealth reminiscent of earlier titles in the series. As the release date draws near, Ubisoft is expected to unveil more details about Shadows, which could potentially make it one of the standout entries in the Assassin's Creed lineup. Or choose another path beyond what we see. And we must look for it, together. We must learn to trust, rebuild. And follow the blade. Monster Hunter Wilds the excitement around a new Monster Hunter game is always palpable, and Wilds seems set to deliver an incredible experience. While we don't have all the details just yet, Capcom has announced that it's slated for a 2025 release and will be available on platforms like PS5, PC, and Xbox Series X. It appears that Wilds will share more similarities with Monster Hunter World than with Rise, which was tailored to fit the Nintendo Switch's capabilities leading to smaller maps compared to its predecessor. Some might argue that Monster Hunter stands apart from traditional RPGs, and that's a valid point. However, these games consistently weave in various role-playing elements, making them a solid choice for action-loving fans who prefer gameplay over narrative depth. Once your business here is concluded, you should find shelter. The sands come alive this time of year, like a wild beast bristling with lightning. From the look of it, that must be this region's apex predator. 
Guild permission granted. Begin the hunt. Understood. The Elder Scrolls VI The Elder Scrolls VI is an anticipated open-world role-playing game developed by Bethesda Game Studios, set to be released on platforms including PC and the original Xbox in 2026. Although the announcement of the game was expected, Bethesda has only provided minimal information, leaving much of the game's content shrouded in mystery. The brief footage that has been shared offers little insight. Yet the mere existence of TS6 is sufficient to generate significant excitement among fans. Realistically, the release of this sequel is still several years away, and it is likely that Bethesda will not engage in extensive marketing until the promotional cycle for Starfield has concluded. Nonetheless, it would be surprising if TS6 does not emerge as one of the highest-selling games in history. Dragon Quest XII the Flames of Fate is an intriguing title within the realm of turn-based role-playing games. Since its announcement in 2021, Square Enix has remained notably reticent about this forthcoming installment in the esteemed JRPG series. The significance and widespread appeal of Dragon Quest are particularly pronounced in Japan, where it has achieved a status akin to a cultural phenomenon. Following a prolonged period of inactivity after Dragon Quest VIII, the release of the 11th main entry revitalized the franchise's presence in Western markets, propelling it to unprecedented international acclaim. Given the success of its predecessor, Dragon Quest XII is anticipated to be one of the most significant releases in the franchise's history beyond Japan. It appears that Square Enix may have revealed DQ-12's existence prematurely or sought to assess public interest in a sequel. Regardless of the rationale, the extended silence following the announcement has been somewhat excessive. It is hoped that the publisher will soon provide further insights into the game's development, as the gaming community eagerly awaits a new mainline Dragon Quest experience. Pokemon Legends ZA Pokemon Legends ZA is still pretty mysterious right now, with not much info floating around. Game Freak has let us know that this new adventure will be set in Kalos, which we first saw in the sixth generation of games. Just like Arceus from 2022, it's safe to guess that ZA happens way before the events of X and Y. It's likely that this sequel will build on what the last game offered, especially with its open-world vibe and a shift away from traditional combat. Even though we've only seen a logo so far, Pokemon Legends ZA is definitely one of the most eagerly awaited RPGs for 2025. And why wouldn't it be? It's Pokemon after all, and it's following up on what many consider to be the best game in the franchise for the Switch era. That's all for this video. Thanks to everyone for watching. Greetings to everyone and see you in the next video.